Welcome back to my cabin. Today I'm going to be showing you how to bind your snowboard with your bindings. And but, but before we do this, you have to know the requirements, what are bindings, and lastly, how to do it. So first, what you're going to do is you'll first grab your bindings. Here I have some trash, dusty, busty ones. And you're going to want to, you'll have the binding disc that come with it. And it, it all depends on your stance, whether you ride straight or goofy, which is backwards for lefties like me, or tilted or also left, and then there's also the 50-50 way. And so once you, ha once you know your stance for when you're ready to ride on the slopes, whether that be or in the mountains, then you'll take your binding discs and you'll be able to set it however you want, since you can tell on the boards you have your holes for the binding discs, and you'll either set them straight or sideways. And then once you have those set up, you'll then take your bindings and put those over the over the holes and then but once you do that then you have to take the screws and do them diagonally and the reason you want to do it diagonally is so then it won't shift while you're placing them on because otherwise if you do it up down or down up then they'll either shift and that will get your placement wrong so you want to do them diagonally and then you'll be able to bind them in how you want and then you'll be able to take your last one and then also do the same thing for that one and then this would be how you would bind the snowboard. And lastly, you want to know how to precise, precisely get it. So once you have them in diagonally up and down, then you will do um, side to side. And then this will tighten it so you can have them either straight or then your slanted or even your goofy, which would be the backwards way to do that. Then from here, you would just want to easily put your boots on and get yourself into your bindings and then bind yourself in and make sure that it, it has like a snug fit to it and you feel like you're actually secured to the board. Having the secureness to the board will have it where you can be able to shift your weight in your ankles and heels because that's where most of the movement you use to snowboard. So then you can either turn left to right or then carve back and forth without having to fall over on while you're on the slopes or the mountains. And this is also, in the left one you usually do well, since I'm a lefty, I usually have my left foot in here. Usually do this one more secure because you only ride with one binding while you're on the ski lift, and then you have the other one out. So then when, you're able, when you get off the ski lift, then you can like slide around or just slide around to go get set up, and then you'll stand, and then you'll bind your other one in, and then you'll be able to ride. But after that, then all you have to do is just make sure that you have that one tightened up, and then you're, you're good to go. After that, you're just able to ride, and you can do any tricks going from the side to side, the 360 uh, tail whip, or then, like I said before, the 50-50, will you do a left turn backwards, and then the forward turn upwards. So hopefully today, I was able to show you how you can firstly, bind your snowboard, secondly, what is binding, and thirdly, how to successfully ride with the right bindings, whether that be normal, goofy, or the side to side way. Thank you today for joining me in my cabin and hopefully I was able to show some of my news of one of my favorite things to do.